Hello beautiful humans and welcome to the slow path. I've gotten questions lately about how I deal with the autoimmune disease as well as being on the autism spectrum. Well one of the things I can tell you is that it's not easy but it is doable. For a long time I worked very hard. I pushed myself to the limits and stressed very much, which caused the flares to be more excessive and much more frequent. They say that stress triggers autoimmune disease, but they still don't know how. I realized that chasing that dream that people talk about, it's not that important because once you find it, once you have it, you realize that there's more to life than just the high salary, the big house, the cars, whatever it is that our society tells us is something that we need. But the answer is much simpler than that. What we truly need in life, in my opinion, and this is what I found out for me, is to be content and be less stressed. Enjoy the journey. Be fully present here and now. But if we're never in the moment, being able to enjoy it for what it is, always looking forward, we miss out on so much. So even though I was at one time that type A, owning several businesses and then selling them, creating more and more. I was a workaholic. I realized that I had missed out on so much. So I embarked on a slower way of living. The pandemic wasn't a good thing, but it made a lot of us think about what was truly important in our lives. And many of us did slow down even more. Sometimes it wasn't by choice. It helped us look at life in a different way. It allowed us to look at the way that we've been programmed as a consumer instead of one who lives in the moment, experiencing what is right in front of us without having to consume unnecessarily. The earth healed while we were shut down. The ozone hole closed. Rivers ran clean. Air pollution was at its lowest. With the new variants spreading across the planet, I hope that we can learn to continue to slow down because we've been in such a hurry to get back to the old normal. The old normal wasn't serving us or this planet very well. I hope that we learn that we can never really go back to the way things were, but we need to adapt and evolve to a new way of doing things, not only for the sake of our children's world, for the sake of all you beautiful humans. During the shutdown, I also embarked on a zero waste journey. Actually, it's more of a low waste journey because the way the packaging is done nowadays, it's impossible to go totally zero waste. But because of how the earth began to heal itself during the shutdown, I started looking more into the waste products that we put out. I'm not throwing things out that are not useful just because they're made of plastic. But I am repurposing, reducing, definitely less consuming, and recycling more. I'm attempting to look out after this planet and myself more and more each day. So combining this with a slower path I can tell you it's made a world of difference in my life. 
even though I still struggle with the autoimmune flares, I'm learning how to keep them in check by trying to keep my stress down and be in the moment each day. Learning to say no to certain things was very hard for me, but I'm learning each day how to do that. I also learned to do things in small quantities instead of putting too many things on my plate and then stressing over it. I keep my counseling clients to only a handful other things that I enjoy doing like my art, I only do that when I'm inspired. And that cuts down from having so much pressure on me. I'm slowly becoming comfortable with saying no to things. This was hard for me. And it's still a journey. And I'm hoping to get better at it each day. Because I've learned that self-care is so important. You can't care for those around you that you love. If you don't care for yourself first I hope that you get something out of this video and if you do please like and subscribe and to all you beautiful humans out there I wish you peace and love